Hey guys, World Leader here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick video on what I recommend you guys use your pump coins on. Now, honestly, it's not too difficult. It's pretty similar to a bunch of the older events, but I'm still going to go over it to make sure you guys get the best value for what you're farming for. So let's start off by coming over to Sardinex. Let's go ahead and talk to him. So I already got all the cosmetics, but that's because I already own most of the cosmetics. I recommend no one buy any cosmetics unless you really really want them then go for it i'd say just pick one set and, and just be content with that if you can do that because these pump coins can really go a long way so in my opinion i'd either avoid completely this whole tab or just select one nice outfit that you would want to go away with because a lot of these especially the ones down here are very very old and they just keep bringing them back so you will get another chance to get them again but don't quote me on that because I'm not entirely sure if they'll just stop that altogether. But that's the pattern they've been showing. Let's go and go to the other tab, which is where you should be. Now, what I recommend every single person get first is going to be the Mythic Caller. And depending on your tier, the Bit Gore. Because if you have stuff to farm, but you just need a Gore, you can get the Gore. Start farming this week, of course, or next week. And you can just get the the pump coins to get mythic callers in the end anyways pinions they're not so great because if you're being optimal with the way you farm which is you have a bunch of raids that you either buy or shard stack and then you turn all of your guild honor into zeals and then you're pretty much going to be running like crazy on a big gore almost every time you run zeals it's going to be on a big gore better you're going to get a lot of pinions trust me like my last gore i got like eight pinions alone <laughs> which i wish i didn't get but i did so i would say probably bit gore to callers unless you really don't need the bit gore then callers to bit gore and then after that mostly depending if you're free to play or not you'll be going based off what you need like if you really need mount guts you're gonna go for mount guts of course like if you really are lacking in the ts department because of your mount you're gonna want to prioritize mount guts in my opinion mount guts is the most important thing here other than the callers because you can't farm guts and to be honest those dailies that give you five mount guts or the little bit of mount guts you can get in fishing to me is not farming because it's not efficient and it's just not it's not reliable like this is the best time to get mount guts if you can just get all these mount guts alone you already have a win in this event because mount guts are annoying <laughs> extremely extremely annoying so mount guts and then i would probably say component cream critter jelly and then i would say rune fragments and regulators that's all up to you um i think taking care of your familiars first would probably be better so maybe regulators first but it really just depends on what you need if you're lacking in the augment department regulators if you're lacking in the pet department critter jelly if you're lacking in the accessories department component cream like let's say you need an upgrade or let's say you need to reforge a pet but you don't have enough critter jelly then you gotta make the priorities of what you really really need stat points honestly stat points are not useful at all all unless you're like super early game and stats actually matter stat points are for those min maxers that really just want to have the most stats possible it's a very very competitive thing that a lot of the top players go for so if you're a top player you don't even need to watch this video you know what to go for but for most of y'all that really do need to know what to get and actually be very optimal with what you're purchasing stat points should be the very last thing you get even past the cosmetics because the cosmetics can at least give you one epic material that can go towards an enchant stat points are just dookie like you don't need them <laughs> completely avoid major speed kicks the other three are fine the gold one is is less fine though i would probably prioritize the experience and then the item fine then go gold and then to uh, major speed kicks i would probably just say don't even buy them period like unless you have that much excess to where you can spend and you've bought everything else then you buy the major speed kicks i'd get the stat points before the speed kicks and that's true so in the order of what I would go, it would be Bitgore, Collars, depending, it's either or first, depending on what you need. Bitgore, Collars, um, I would say Mount Guts, and then I would go Regulators, Kidder Jelly, Component Cream, Rune Fragments, and then I'd go Major Experience Tomb, Major Item Find Scroll, 
major gold potion, and then I'd come back, get the cosmetics I want, and after that I would work on stat points and then uh, major speed kicks. I'm opting out for pinions because I just don't need them, but if you really wanted to know when to get them, like you really, really need them, then you would get them right after you get one of these two. So it would be your third option to get. And then you would go on with the rest of it, like Mount Guts, Crater Jelly, Regulators, etc. So that's pretty much going to be it on the event. Um, where do I recommend you farm all this stuff? I've heard a lot of people say that D4s, like um, the fourth dungeon in every zone, are the best place to get it because you have a lot more chances to get coins. I heard um, Invasion's a good way to get it if Invasion's around. I've heard so many things about those two specific areas. I personally like doing a good PvP push and getting a lot of coins that way because I seem to get a lot very, very fast. But that's only if you have a bunch stacked up and you're planning to do a push for that week. Everywhere else is okay. It's decent drops. But from what I've heard, those are the best areas. Um, I'm not entirely sure on what is the best area, but I'm more than certain that the D4 is probably your best bet. But anyways, that's going to be it for the video. If you guys have any questions, ask them in the comments or hit me up on Discord. I'll always reply. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great one, guys. Peace.